It's game day here in New Orleans, Louisiana, and the Zombies fans are really fired up, mostly due to the flamethrowers the SWAT team has used against them in the parking lot. Nothing like the smell of smoking ribs at the tailgate party. Hey, Grim, I stopped by this voodoo head fool, some shrunken head guy, and set up out there two hexes for ten bucks. Put one on my wife's divorce attorney, and the other on the kid at the coffee shop for not leaving enough room for my cream. Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Atlanta Vultures take on the New Orleans Zombies. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 The quarterback rigged the ball to explode, and the defensive player got blown to bits. I won't even get out of it. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. With a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That yeah, was probably all the diarrhea. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back. Oh, with a brutal hit. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And he runs it for four yards. Third down and, well, good luck. 
saved the touchdown on that deflection. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball and dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend, I didn't. I love this job. The defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. Second down and six. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third down and six. And the defense was reading him like a book. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be... And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Third down and three. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And that'll bring up third and one. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. put that guy out of his misery and says who's next the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team so it's up to the next man to replace him yeah what exactly is a burn returner grim now players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense they have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league the next man up just sat back down on the bench he probably cramped his pants And it's first and ten. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. They're telling me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. And another interception. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. First and ten. And he finds a boom and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. Uh, I'm just damn it happens to a lot of guys, Grim. Uh, at least that's what I hear. It's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, 
Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. <laughs> And that'll be second and eight to go. Stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. Oh man, what if he can go all the way? And the defense is on his heels. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First and ten. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Finally. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. The cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And 
and it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out and it's first and ten boom <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go down and 10. And the defense gets another pick. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. First and ten. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. between King Kong and Godzilla, the player. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Second down and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads. Kimchi. I'm at it. And that's another pick. Oh, he just got crushed. First and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. And that's a nice run for a first down. First and ten. Oh, and the quarterback. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the rep didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. It's cut. My watch is a bit slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions, and he breaks away. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky he finds his head, he'll be okay. Oh. 
First down and six. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't brought him. He is fighting for every yard. And it's first and ten. Catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and two. And that's a first down. Look oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Your time for time. I only we can have it. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And he just got run over by a freight train. Now it's just a race for the loose ball. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. This guy's a brick shithouse. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. First down and five. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. You've got to catch that. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? Oh, great throw! Great catch! And then put six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, Grim! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? And 
And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, man. Yeah, bigger than yours. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. And he picks up ten on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. <laughs> the burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outfit. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And like a He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. He should give this. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten.
fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grab I just dash. On it. First down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. And this is a first and long situation. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Second down and two. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. run the football first down and it's first and ten I don't know whose eyes the QB is using but can we get him some new ones oh he just got popped big time oh my god I thought his head was gonna pop off like a big zit and it's first and ten Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Yeah. First down and forever. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Mom, Grim, that was a pair. Rolling plays are in bowling. Third down and five. Kaboom! And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called center straight through the uprights. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he... Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL is a 
eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Still by jerks. Yo, guys, suck. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Man, there's no QB. He don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. First down and seven. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good! And, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. And that'll bring him third down and seven. gets another pick. Man, rough day. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And that'll be second and eight to go. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Oh, finish him. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second and three.
Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Third down and the punter is warming up. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, don't, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he snags the punt and looks for open. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. And the MFL winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Keep a good mutant. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? And it's first and ten. blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Second down and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. I like this. They're going for two. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. Yeah, it got blown to shit. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Oh, look at that freak go! He's, up. He's leaving a wake of destruction. Oh, he was hitting mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. I've seen this guy run through a brick. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Griffin, and keep coming back to him. 
Second down in a mile. And the defense calls a thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Gonna make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And he booted a high-arching rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Right rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you uns. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew. The offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers. They're really getting the snot kicked out of them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Uh, don't worry, that's coming. First and eight to go. And another interception. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? Ah, that's not fair. Someone should call a penalty on this rep. Yeah, the death penalty. Hang them by the nuts. First and four. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First and two. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and two. The defender says, I don't think so. Third and two. And he lines up for the field goal attempt, trying to ignore the defensive threats of murder. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And 
Giants, first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have it intercepted, though. It's a touchdown! Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? Dig straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Boom, dead and down. Just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And that's another turnover for the defense. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Well, Briggs home cooking on their home field was supposed to be a winning recipe. You can stick a fork in these zombies' heads because they are done. Yeah, the undead never looked at it, Grim. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. <laughs> 
Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. Yeah, I watch that on my phone, too. Oh, let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...